un undeniable total surrender to the word of Christ. Look at that point now, just that point, number one. We're looking at absolute full surrender to the word of Christ. Look at the three things there. We're looking at Peter under a surrendering the sheep and the substance to Christ. Profitable surrender of sin and self to Christ and perpetual surrender in sacrifice and service to Christ. You know the story already, we've been reading this a long time. What we need is to understand, understand the story. Look at Peter's surrender of sheep and substance to Christ. In Luke chapter 5 verse 2, Luke chapter 5 verse 2, And he saw two sheep standing by the lake. And the fishermen were gone out of them. And they were washing their nets. And then in verse 3, in verse 3 we are told, And he entered into one of the sheep, which was Simon's, belonging to Simon, and prayed him and asked him that he was thrust out a little from the land and he sat down and taught the people out of the sheep. You see, they had caught nothing that night, but that poverty, that penury, that nothingness did not hinder the fact that when Jesus asked him for the sheep, for the substance, for what he had, he didn't say, well, no money, no food, no fish, no profit, there's not the time to serve the Lord, no, the people who want heaven more than earth, the people who want God more than self, they don't consider all that, they surrender fully what they have. That's how Peter got saved. You know, the miracle that followed, that is how Peter got saved. That's how we get saved. You come, you must surrender something. Even things that were profitable for you. If you are dealing with a profitable job, you are selling what you should not be selling, Maybe cigarette, maybe alcohol, maybe your body, whatever you are selling to make a living. Now, Christ wants to come into your life. You must surrender all those things that brought gain, that brought money. I'm, I'm going to ask you. You say you are born again. You say you belong to Christ. At the point of salvation, what have you surrendered? Have you left anything? Have you abandoned anything? Even things that were gain and profitable to you, if Christ demanded that you submit this, you surrender this, have you done that? That's the question. It's not just a matter of, I know the Bible, I study the Bible. Yes, I understand. What have you surrendered? I know what I surrendered. I know what I gave up. In the church I was born again. That wasn't my original church. I had another church I was going and I was doing something for them there, I told you before. And when the call of repentance and salvation came, where I was known, 
where I was appreciated, I surrendered that thing. Have you surrendered anything? Look at number two here. Number two here, we're looking at profitable surrender of sin and self to Christ. At the point of salvation, you have to have definite things you forsake. At the point of sanctification, you go back to the Lord, there must be something that you surrender. Something that you surrender. I can't understand how somebody can come to the Lord. There must be something God has observed that although you are saved, now for you to be sanctified, this has to go. The sanctification. We call it consecration in the heart, in the mind, in the things we possess, in our nature, in our depraved mind. The things that will not allow us to match with the life of Christ. Saved, all the external sins are gone. But self is still dominating and self is coming in competition with the savior of the soul and the sanctifier of the spirit. And we have to come again and have this surrender of self. Have you surrendered anything beyond the point you are saved? Think about it. Think about it. It wants us to come to thoughtful reflection. Have you surrendered anything? Self. Have been it your own way. Self. Have been it on your own terms. Self. Wanting to beat down anyone that will not agree a line with your self-centeredness. Have you surrendered that at salvation? We surrender, we give up, we forsake sin and all the things that used to bring profit to us, we forsake everything. At sanctification, yes, we come again and we say, Lord, I thought I'd surrendered everything, but I see that actually self rules everything in the church, at home, with the husband, with the wife, with the people we're working with in our various homes where we earn our living self self-centeredness to be like a manager master master controlling everything and everyone at sanctification we come we surrender everything concerning set number three here number three we're looking at perpetual surrender in sacrifice and service unto Christ personal perpetual perfect surrender throw your net there and he threw the net there after saying we toiled all the night and we caught nothing but at thy word that's the Christian life I have my own feeling at thy word I have my own story I could tell all the night but at thy word let to me alone I would not like to do that because I've tried that and it doesn't work but at thy word when you come to the point you want to be serving the Lord you want to be totally yielded and giving to the Lord. What matters now is not how I feel, how I think, what's comfortable, what's convenient, 
what I'm used to, what I'm not used to. No, no. By my training, no. At thy word. That is Christian life. That is Christian service. Anything apart from that, anything beyond that, is not acceptable to the Lord. You must come and surrender. Not my will, but thine be done. Not my way, but thine be done. Now they caught a lot of fish. A lot. And this was the greatest number of fish they ever got in their fishing career. And then Jesus said, follow me. And they forsook that. They forsook that. They didn't continue. Lord, let me first sell this. Let me first, after all, you gave the blessing to me. Let me first go and do this. And then I will come and follow you. No. They let all. And they followed him. What have you left? Without grumbling. What have you left? Without carnal comparison with other people. I left so much. And all these other people. They are not leaving anything. And they are all still involved. Uh, that's carnal comparison. What have you left? Have you left your own ways? Have you left your own profit? Have you left your own mind? Let me say my mind. Let me show them my mind. No. We have to leave. We have to leave. We have to leave. And Jesus said in Luke chapter 14, verse 33. In Luke chapter 14, verse 33, Jesus said, Whosoever be of you, so likewise, whosoever be of you that forsaketh not all. That he has all his opinion, all his idea, all his own way, all his own, do it my own way. Whosoever, any of you that does not forsake all that he has, he cannot be my disciple. Surrender at the point of salvation. Surrender at the point of